everyone. Do you want to go on a little adventure? Grab your suitcases, pack your bags, grab your sun cream, you're coming with me. We're going to Wales. Come on. All aboard! Welcome to Wales. It's absolutely beautiful. So it's 10 to 9. I'm about 12 minutes from Devil's Bridge. You can hear the birds. Can you hear them? There's some sheep at the side of me. Just behind me there. And then I'm going to spin you around. And you're going to be able to see the stunning valley just below me. So yeah, it's going to be lovely today. We're going to go around on a little adventure, go around and see what Wales has to offer. So I hope you enjoy. Right, well I've parked the car up and I've arrived at the Devil's Bridge Falls. Just behind me, you can just see the kiosk. So that's the Punch Bowl walk, which two pound and you go through the turnstiles just there. But we are going to go in that one first, down to the waterfalls, nature trail and the three bridges. Devil's Bridge has been a tourist attraction for over a hundred years. The three bridges are built one on top of the other. This is very unique. There are no other bridges built like this in the world. Wow. We will get a better view of the bridges later on in the vlog. Devil's Bridge has a legend that it got its name because of an old woman who lost her cow and saw it grazing on the opposite bank. You can listen to this legend a few minutes long later on in the vlog. The sun's out, it's lovely, it's absolutely stunning. I can hear the waterfalls in the distance and so sort I'm of just working now to find them. It's about 45 minutes this route but it'll take me longer with all filming. <laughs> It's a good job I was going down then and not up because have you seen them behind me? I, think, I don't know how many steps there was, I didn't count them but they were steep. So now we're going to go across a lovely little bridge, let me spin you around and uh, show you what's behind. There, can you see? A little bridge behind me there. And um, we're going to continue the walk.
I don't like this. Wow. So this bridge is like really narrow, open at either side, and I'm not liking it. <laughs> right, okay. Let me, let me just show you over the edge, because that is scary. There you go. <laughs> I'm glad I'm off that. <laughs> it doesn't look bad, okay? But when you get on the top of there, and you, if you haven't guessed, I'm not very good with things like that. What I've opened and high. I hope you're enjoying the vlog so far. Here's a little bit of history about the three bridges. And don't forget to keep watching to see the marvellous, spectacular Brecon Mountain Railway. Welcome to Devil's Bridge Waterfalls and Punch Bowl. Listen while I explain about the natural and historic facts of this fascinating area of Wales. Look at the three bridges in front of you and see how they are built one on top of another. The lowest bridge was the first to be built around the 11th century and was used for those travelling by foot who needed a quick and safe way across this deep gorge. Much later, in 1708, a bigger, wider bridge was built for horse and carts and in 1901, the top bridge was constructed to withstand the modern-day traffic. The river that the three bridges span is the River Monach, which is the Welsh name for monk. Many monks passed this way on their route from Llan Badarn Church near Aberystwyth to Strata Florida Abbey at Pontryd Vendigaid. It has taken thousands of years for the River Monach to erode a punch bowl effect into the rocks seen underneath these bridges. The river then drops over 400 feet to create a spectacular waterfall where it then joins the River Hredol. So I've just finished the waterfall walk right round. It was really good, but the amount of steps, wow. <laughs> so what I'm doing now is, it's 10 past 11. Now, if I've got my calculations right, there's a, a little train, uh, not far away, uh, due in at half past 11 at the station. So I'm just walking now up to the station. It's not far, and I'm going to see if I can get some footage of it coming in. I'm not actually going on that one. I'm going to be going on the Brecon Beacon uh, Mountain Railway. So I'm here. Today's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Go on Saturday. Okay, here's the railway. Welcome to Devil's Bridge. The steam train from Devil's Bridge to Aberystwyth was opened in 1902 to serve the lead mines. It was also used to carry timber and passengers. It became very popular with tourists around the end of the Victorian era, who would use it as a means of transport to visit Devil's Bridge, as it continues to do so to this day. Good 
morning. Welcome to the Brick and Beacon Mountain Railway. So I'm just going to go and find my seat. I've got my ticket, seat D3. And uh, I'm looking quite forward to this, quite excited. So let's go and see where my seats are. The Brecon Mountain Railway was founded in the mid 1970s. The Brecon Mountain Railway operates a narrow gauge steam hauled tourist line along the former Brecon and Merthyr Railway. It runs from Pant through to Top Hunter, a distance of around 5 miles. This is Aline, I met her and her husband while at the railway, a lovely couple, and we're now in contact on Facebook. The train stops at Ponce de Sil station for 30 minutes. Here, the guard, Gareth, fantastic gentleman, invited me up to ride with him in the guard's van for the rest of the return journey. Well that's the end of part one of this mini-series vlog of Wales. If you'd like to hear the legend about the three bridges from the beginning of the vlog, that's coming right up. Don't forget to check out part two when that's uploaded. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It's free, it doesn't cost a penny and it helps us a lot. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and YouTube will notify you when 
we release a new vlog. Thanks to all our subscribers so far, and we'll see you very soon. The legend of how Devil's Bridge got its name. High in the mountains, near Aberystwyth, there is a village where a very old bridge crosses a deep gorge. Above it are two other bridges, built at later dates. But the lowest one, well, they say that the devil himself built it. It's said that around the 11th century, the devil visited Wales, as he had never been there before, and he had heard that the scenery was breathtaking. He soon came across an old lady who seemed upset. What's the matter? he asked, out of curiosity. Oh, I'm in such a terrible muddle and I don't know what to do. My cow has wandered across the river and I can't get her back. Ah, said the devil, what you need, my dear, is a bridge, and I am just the man to build you one. Why don't you go home, and in the morning there will be a bridge waiting for you? All I ask in return is to keep the first living thing to cross the bridge. OK, then, she said. It's a bargain. i see you in the morning. No star. Good night. That night she wondered about the stranger who would build her a bridge. What a strange request. Why should I cross the bridge to get my cow back if he gets to keep me in exchange? Mind you, it is a very tempting offer. The next morning she got up and called her faithful dog. Together they went down to the river. Well, well. She couldn't believe her eyes. In front of her was the best bridge that she had ever seen. I told you that I would build you a bridge, said the devil, appearing from nowhere. Now it's your turn to keep your side of the bargain. I know. You get to keep the first living thing to cross the bridge. And she started to walk towards the bridge. But just when she got to the entrance, she stopped, took a loaf of bread from her apron pocket and hurled it across the bridge. As quick as a flash and before the devil could stop it, the dog chased after it. Ah! screeched the devil. You stupid old woman, I don't believe it. Your smelly, hairy farm dog has become the first living thing to cross my bridge. It's no good to me, he screamed, and then he vanished. Well... The devil was never seen in Wales again, as he was so embarrassed at being outwitted by an old lady.